So here's an easy question. Does the aura ring, will it track your heart rate while swimming? There's the pool, there's the ring, open up the app, and we'll test this thing. So, did the ring track my heart rate while in this lovely pool swimming? We're gonna have to go back to the studio. Sorry. And if you haven't guessed yet, yes, we are back in the studio. That was a great swim. Let's take a look at the ring. So here's the whole purpose of the video. One, to have fun. Two, work out. But three, does this track heart rate while swimming? Let's find out quickly synchronizes to the ring. It's telling me to do new sleeping beta thing. Yeah, that's for another video. There's the activity, doing pretty well. Oh, see those little orange dots? Well, the orange lines on the screen, that means it recorded a heart rate during workout. And I logged it as indoor running. Duration, average heart rate, 97. Why can't I see it? The quality of your workout heart rate signal depends on new few factors. Yeah. To ensure best quality, try wearing ring on your... It was. It. Everyone saw that. It was on my index finger. Got it. Yep, got that. So not a lot of data. Well, quite a bit of data from intensity. All right. During 826 to 907, that's the right time frame. And then even though I told it indoor, it started tracking GPS. That's interesting. Average pace really slow. And then if we go to heart rate, and this is where Aura really needs to work on something. Why isn't there more heart rate detail in that workout that I was just viewing? It's just not logical, not at all. So after you view that workout, then you have to go into your heart rate section. I don't know if you saw that right here. And then workouts, and then it shows you the range. So low 57, 27, okay. That's my insight to how hard my workout was. Heart rate range, 71 to 173. Not anywhere near the 175 that this Amazfit was tracking. So, yeah. And then just for fun, if we'll length, there we go. Total yardage, laps, 27. Total calories, average heart rate, 112. 63 to 142, and that's about right. I wasn't swimming as hard when I was testing the ring specifically because I didn't have it tracking the entire workout. I decided to film the video after the fact. So what did we learn? One, swimming is really good for your health. Two, swimming is fun. Three, yes, the aura ring does track your heart rate during workouts, but the data that it gives you as a result of wearing the ring in the water, not that helpful. You'll be better off wearing Fitbit, eh, not so much Fitbit. You'd be better off wearing Samsung, Garmin, or an Apple Watch. I, I actually saw three other swimmers in the pool wearing their Apple Watches. And if you really are stuck on Apple and you just can't leave that ecosystem, I, re I recommend dropping the 800 bucks and getting the Apple Watch Ultra. I, I kind of miss it. It was fun to swim with because this one was at 17% when I started the workout and it nearly died. I, I just, I hate charging my Apple Watch every day. If you've watched my other videos, the Apple Watch Ultra, I made it almost four days.
But this is about the aura ring. Oh, it's glowing green again. We're, we're green lit for another video. So it's trying to sense my heart rate. So I'll put that back on. So what'd you think? Was this, was this, was it a good test? I've actually tested this about more than a dozen times and each one I get the same lame results. Part of the problem is you have to have the phone nearby and I even tried putting the phone halfway in between the lane thinking, okay, well, that way the Bluetooth is only stretching about 12 yards, you know, if it's in the middle of the pool instead of at one end or the other, but it still, it, it doesn't really matter. I think part of it is the water is causing conflict <laughs> between the very minute Bluetooth chip and the ability to transmit data inside this small ring and the phone. So that's that's part of the problem. Whereas a heart rate monitor on a watch or whatnot just keeps the data there, but the heart rate data should be in the ring. And once you're telling the Aura Ring from the Aura Ring app, hey, I wanna record this heart rate, why can't it just keep all the data there? That that doesn't make sense. But so far it's, yeah, it's, it's saying I've had five minutes restorative time. It still doesn't really tell me recovery time. Whereas after that workout, Garmin and a Mazfit and a few others would have told me 10 hours. Actually, well, that's for another video. Well, thanks for watching. That's all I have for today. What do you think of your Aura Ring? Did you upgrade to the Gen 3 like I did? Did you splurge and get the new Horizon model? Let me know. Type those comments and pithy questions in the comments below, and I'll respond. Goodbye.